You finished your exams and now you're probably wondering how does Cambridge actually calculate my grades? In this video we're going to answer that question so make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you find this video useful. So the general process of calculating your grades looks like this. They start with the raw marks which are the marks you get when your component paper is marked. If at any point this doesn't make sense don't worry about it. We'll look at an example using actual marks in a second but before we do that I just want to familiarize you with the procedure. These raw marks are then adjusted to ensure fairness and consistency to give you your adjusted mark. For example, Two teachers may mark the same script slightly differently and so sometimes the marks have to be adjusted to cater for this. But in most cases the raw mark remains as it is. This adjusted mark or raw mark if nothing was done to it is then multiplied by a weighting factor to give you the final mark for that component paper. Once this has been done for every component the final grades for each component are added together to give the syllabus total. This syllabus total is then compared to the grade thresholds and from there you get your symbol and your percentage uniform mark abbreviated PUM which is the percentage you see on your results slip. To most of you this probably doesn't make any sense at all so let's look at an actual example using actual marks. Let's say we have our student named Bob and Bob is doing GCE A level maths 9709. Bob chooses to do pure maths 1 probability and statistics 1, pure maths 3 and mechanics 1. And let's just say Bob wrote variant 2 papers and he took these papers in November 2023. For paper 12 that's the pure 1 paper Bob got 54 out of 75. For paper 32 Bob got 48 out of 75. For paper 42 Bob got 32 out of 50. For paper 52 Bob got 40 out of 50. These are Bob's raw marks for each component. From here Cambridge might adjust the raw marks to ensure fairness and consistency but in most cases they do not so we're not going to adjust Bob's raw marks. The next step is to get the final mark for each component and we do this by multiplying the raw mark by a weighting factor. You can find these on the CIE website I've also linked them in the description. The weighting factors for our example all appear to be 1's so multiply the raw mark for each component by 1. This gives us the final marks for each component. Now let's add them all up to get Bob's syllabus total. So that's 54 plus 48 plus 32 plus 40 and this gives Bob a syllabus total of 174 marks. Now to determine the mark that will show on Bob's results slip, let's compare his syllabus total to the grade thresholds for November 2023. Bob took the AY option which has paper 12, paper 32, paper 42 and paper 52. So if we look at the thresholds for that option we can tell that Bob's syllabus total would lie between 162 and 188. So this means Bob's symbol is a B. Now let's calculate his percentage uniform mark. This is where it gets a bit tricky so pay close attention. According to Cambridge's grading system a B lies between 70% and 79%. So if we were to consider this 70% to 79% as a class that's a class width of 10%. Now if we look at the grade thresholds a B lies between 162 and 188. So if we're considering this as a class that's a class width of 26 marks. 174 is 12 marks away from our lower bound which is 162. So we can use proportion to find out where 174 would lie on our 10 mark scale. So that would be 12 divided by 26 multiplied by 10. And that gives us 4.6. So that means Bob has a percentage uniform mark of 74.6. This is rounded off to a whole number. I'm pretty sure they always round down but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. So Bob has a final mark of 74% and his result slip would look like this. And that's pretty much how you calculate the mark that you see on your result slip. If you found this video useful please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Bye bye. Thank you.